Just recently, Celebrity Showcase talked to Michael Jackson. How would you like to grow up as a singing superstar? And the only life you'd ever know would be the stage and lots of security guards holding back screaming fans. Well, Michael Jackson's life has been just that. From the Jackson 5's first hit, I Want You Back, at age 5, to his latest hit, Beat It, at age 24, Michael has been a singing and dancing superstar. First, he told us about the filming of Beat It. The theme is uh, it's about two gangs, and they're coming together to, to rumble, to fight. And my objective is to, uh, I'm telling them, turn the other, I mean, don't fight, turn the other cheek. I mean, it's your brother who you're killing. And, uh, uh, I do it in aggressive beat and rhythm and dancing and everything. And you got real gang members here, too. Yeah, we have real gang members integrated in with dancers. We got lots of real gang members in it. Do crowds worry you? Not on tour. Um, I get afraid of, well, I don't know people. I, I get afraid of people sometimes. I don't, it's a whole other life that I, I haven't really experienced that. Like friendship is a thing I'm just beginning to learn about. Um, I was raised on the stage, and that's where I'm comfortable. And everything else is like foreign to me. I'm just beginning to know and learn about people, friendship, and things like that. So you never really hit the streets, huh? I know nothing about it. Uh, I guess from movies or the schooling that I've had, we've had tutors mm -hmm. throughout the years in private schools. I was real little, I went to a public school once, and I went to another public school for one week. It got so bad, the fans, they come in the class and chase us around and stuff. So, who are your real friends? Uh, I love our fans. Uh, everyone who buys our record. Um, I put my heart in my work, and I, I appreciate the fact that they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And but I mean just close personal friends. Uh, you got close personal friends? Quincy Jones is a friend. And there's a few others. They're all in show business? Jane Fonda's a good friend. Uh, Dinah Ross. Yeah. Very dear friend, Dinah Ross. She's the kind of person I can tell her anything, the most private of secrets. And she tell me her secrets as well. What about your house? I understand that you tore your house down and rebuilt it for your mother in the, in the form of a castle. Is that true? Um, somewhat, yeah. Well, I, I've always loved English Tudor, and so does she. And uh, I fantasize a lot, and I like you know, the whole night. And, uh, Princess style, very storybook. Well, we'd love to see it when it's completed. Disney Studios doing a whole uh, Pirates of the Caribbean room. Uh -huh. When you walk in there, it's like a pirate shootout. And these animatronic robots, like, and they talk and they sing and they dance and, and they're shooting. You walk in the middle of this whole war and the smoke and cannons and everything, and that's exciting. It's taken from the Pirates of the Caribbean. And you got this in your house. Yeah. I read in a magazine article about your, about your, um, uh, your Sundays and how you spend your your Sunday ritual. I think they call it. Yeah. Tell, tell me about the Sunday ritual. Well, every Sunday I fast. I don't eat anything. Um, it's just something I decided to do for my body. Uh, and I dance every Sunday, and uh, I feel better doing it. You just fast and dance. I don't eat anything. What music do you dance to when you do this? Mine. Or um, anything that's got a fast beat to it. Like who do you like right now? Who do I like? Yeah. Classical music. Classical? That's what I sleep to. It's people who come around me, they're surprised because that's what I listen to. Yeah. All day is classical music. All right. Well, hey, I know you got to go. They're giving me the high sign that you got to get out of here and finish this at the next shoot.